I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Scorpions. Today is Monday, May 24th, and it is an even day. Today's quote of the day is from American actress Aquafina. When we're in charge of our own stories, amazing things happen. The root word of the week is D-I-C-T, meaning say. The root word of the day is dictate, definition, to tell someone what to do. Example, many children eventually rebel against parents that constantly dictate their every move. Hi, I'm Grace Lynn, and I'm a children's book author and illustrator. I write and illustrate all different kinds of books. I write and illustrate picture books. I write and illustrate early readers, and I write and illustrate novels. A lot of my books have to do with Asian culture because of the way I grew up. I grew up in upstate New York where there was not a lot of Asian people. In fact, we were the only Asian family in town. I was the only Asian girl in my classroom, and I was the only Asian girl in my whole school except for my sisters. Uh, so this kind of gave me a very strange sense of identity, and I spent most of my time trying to forget that I was Asian, and I did a really good job of it. It was only when I was older that I realized that being Asian was something actually something wonderful and I had lost something. So a lot of my books deal with Asian culture because I'm trying to recapture uh, the culture that I didn't learn when I was younger. I'm trying to recapture the things that I didn't know. Probably my most popular book and one of the books that's close to my heart is Where the Mountain Meets the Moon. And this book they call kind of a Chinese Wizard of Oz because it's about a girl named Min Li who's on the way to find the old man of the moon to change her family's fortune. As she goes on this journey, she meets all these different characters, and each character she meets tells her a different story. And these stories affect her journey, though she doesn't really realize it until the very end. So I have two pieces of advice that I would give to any future authors and illustrators. My first piece of advice would be, of course, to read as much as possible, to read anything that you can get your hands on. Even if you don't like it, that would at least tell you what kind of books or things you don't want to write about in the future. My second piece of advice is to always write or draw things that are important to you, because if you write and illustrate the things that are important to you, that will come out in your work. And storytelling is really important because that is the way we remember things. Uh, that's the way uh, we communicate with each other. Uh, when people are gone, you always remember the stories they tell. So it's really important to write and create your own stories, if only in your head, because those are the ways that you'll remember your life. Hi everyone, I just wanted to quickly let you know that I have a new podcast just for kids. It's called Kids Ask Authors. It's where a guest author and I answer one kid question. And every episode ends with a kid book review, a kid poem, or even a kid joke, which means that kids can submit their own book reviews, their own poems, or even their own jokes, and we'll play it on the podcast. So you can have your child submit Submit their jokes, their book reviews, and their poems to our podcast. Just go to www.kidsaskauthors.com and listen to the podcast too. It'll be a fun thing to do now. Thanks. Have a marvelous Monday, Scorpions. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and see you tomorrow.